In most combat sports, one of the biggest advantages is size. In order to get this advantage, fighters cut massive amounts of weight leading up to a fight, sometimes cutting upwards of 40 pounds or more to make the required weight limit. Weight cutting presents serious medical risk and you should not ever attempt this without professional supervision. This is a list of fighters who either missed weight or inadvertently harmed themselves in the process, making them some of the worst weight cuts in MMA. Johnny Hendricks has three passions in life, beards, food, and missing weight. Johnny missed weight! His official weight is 171 and a quarter! Hendricks fights in the welterweight division at 170 pounds and didn't have issues making weight until mid-year of 2015. He was set to fight Tyron Woodley at UFC 192, but the fight was canceled after Hendricks failed to make weight and dehydrated his body so badly he developed an intestinal blockage and a kidney stone and had to be taken to the hospital. Hendricks blamed the weight difficulties on eating too much deer meat. Hendricks failed to make weight a second time prior to his fight with Kelvin Gastelum at UFC 200. Leading up to the fight, he was confident he'd make weight, stating, The weight is no longer an issue. I got nutrition now. And, I can still eat bad, but it can still be good for you. I can have a Whataburger. I just have the burger and don't eat the fries. Hendricks missed weight and had to forfeit 20% of his fight money to his opponent Gastelum and ended up losing the fight via decision. Undefeated heavyweight Tafir Harris cut 40 pounds leading up to his fight with Kimbo Slice at Bellator 149. Harris, who for whatever reason goes by the nickname Dada 5000, successfully made the 265-pound weight limit, but nearly killed himself in the process. Kimbo gets out of his way, he's gonna fall. Dada has no idea where he is, and that's the ground. Harris lost the fight, the battle but not the war, after his loss was reversed to a no contest due to Kimbo testing positive for PEDs. Harris ended up spending several weeks in the hospital after having multiple heart attacks, suffering renal failure, and requiring dialysis from extreme dehydration due to cutting too much weight. Harris later stated on his survival, the doctors were like, wow, it's a miracle. I was like, no, it was God. The stakes were high for middleweight Travis Luter to make weight at UFC 67. Luter competed on Season 4 of The Ultimate Fighter. After defeating Scott Smith and Pete Sell, he was given a title shot against Anderson Silva in 2007. I'm the guy that cares the least out of all the guys in the house, and he who cares least wins. Luter was required to weigh 185 pounds for the championship fight, but failed to make weight, coming in at 186 pounds instead. Missing an opportunity of a lifetime is embarrassing and ultimately very disappointing for Travis Luter. The bout was then changed to a non-title fight, taking the belt off the line and reducing the length of the fight from five rounds to three, although Silva only needed two to win. Exhausted from the weight cut, Luter, a submission specialist, was submitted via triangle choke just two minutes into the second round. Here's the tap. 125-pound flyweight fighter Yang Jianbing was scheduled to fight at one championship 35 in 2015, but after cutting too much weight was hospitalized and ultimately died due to cardiopulmonary failure at only 21 years old. The death prompted one championship to institute new weight cutting rules, banning cutting weight by dehydration and requiring multiple weigh-ins and tests to ensure fighter safety. The UFC has also recently implemented new weight cutting rules, requiring fighters to be within 8% of their target weight Wait earlier in the week with monitoring of vitals, and if they appear to be too dehydrated, will be pulled from the fight. Yang Jiangbing was 5-1 in MMA, losing his last fight by split decision. And a few honorable mentions. Anthony Johnson has missed weight four times in his MMA career and has fought at 170 pounds, 185, 205, and heavyweight as well. Both Ronda Rousey and Conor McGregor have cut a lot of weight before fights. Just look at these before and after images. Hennen Barrow was set to fight for the 135-pound title, but was pulled from the bout after fainting and hitting his head after cutting too much weight. I was dehydrating in the bathtub. I fainted. I hit my head. I was taken to the hospital. I don't remember anything that happened before or after. I just remember being waking up in the hospital already. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.